there! Today, we'll be learning how to propagate plants. Propagation is a way to increase the number of plants you have in your garden. We'll be learning how to propagate plants by seeds, cuttings, and air layerings. Ensure that the seeds are clean. Prepare a tray or pot with holes for water drainage. Fill it with seed starting mix or one of the following mixes and water thoroughly. Ensure the seeds are covered with more media. Water gently so as not to displace the seeds. Be sure to label the species name, planting date and number of seeds. This helps to identify the seedlings and their germination rate. Stem cuttings can be used if the desired plant is not fruiting at the moment. Prepare a mixed medium of perlite and cocoa peat or one of these other mixes, compacting the surface of the medium. Thoroughly but gently water it. Cut semi-woody sections of the stem. Remove the leaves from the lower nodes. Cut the remaining leaves in half. You can also dip the ends of the cuttings into rooting powder or gel. Use a pencil or chopstick to create holes for your cuttings. Gently place the cuttings into the holes and stabilize them. Water the medium gently. Remember to label your cuttings. Place your seeds and cuttings in a lightly shaded area with good ventilation. Water daily to prevent the medium from drying out. A sturdy plastic or metal cage may be placed over the seeds to protect them from rodents. Air layering produces a rooted stem on an existing plant. It is used to produce trees and shrubs in a shorter time or to produce clones of plants with desirable characteristics. These are the materials you will need. Prepare a medium of hydrated sphagnum moss. The medium needs to be kept moist to encourage root growth. Put the medium in a plastic bag and tie up the ends. Choose a woody stem with healthy leaf growth. Create two clean cuts around the stem. Girdle the branch by shaving away the bark and cambium layer. Apply rooting gel or powder onto the girdle branch. Cut the plastic bag and wrap it around the branch. Make sure the moss fully surrounds the cut portion. Secure the bag to the branch. Roots will start to grow and fill the bag. When the roots are well developed, it is ready to be cut and planted. Now that you know how to propagate plants, you can try your hand at growing different species to populate your garden.